Away from that, four people have been killed and 14 injured following a suspected terror attack in Mandera town. The militants attacked a local restaurant a few hundred meters from Mandera police station. And as Ayub Abdikadir now reports, the attack comes even as the government deployed new security equipment, including armored personnel carriers and gears meant to serve security operations in the region. These are the remains of what was the Fish Point Hotel in Mandera County. Shrapnels all over, pointing to the magnitude of the mid-morning improvised explosive device attack on Monday. The attack which happened just 200 meters away from the Mandera police station targeted the restaurant frequented by non-locals. According to the county police commander, four people were killed in the explosion with more than 10 others sustaining injuries. So far we have lost four people. As I've said, three officers, one civilian. A female lady was working in that fish. The water has blown completely, and uh, we suspect the IED was placed at night. The injured have been admitted at the Mandera County Referral Hospital with two in critical condition and are waiting to be airlifted to Nairobi for specialized treatment. Local leaders have condemned the incident, which comes against the backdrop of a lull in Al Shabaab activities following scaled up security operations in the region. We call upon our security, uh, security agencies to do thorough investigation to make sure we get the culprits, those who are behind this incident. Our people are peaceful, but few culprits, criminals, are, with, are living within the society. And my deepest condolences to the families that have been affected by this uh, explosion. And also as a county government, uh, myself, along with His Excellency the Governor, uh, that we will provide the necessary support to the people who were injured by this explosion. Our town has been actually been peaceful. Our security team has been doing a good job. But uh, this cowardly act has just happened in this whole month of Ravalan, where we are supposed to be in, in, in worshiping Allah in peace. We, we really felt it and inshallah we will going to do all our best to make sure that such incident will not happen in collaboration with our security officers who have already been mobilized and they are really pursuing um, uh, the culprits. According to the county commander, investigations have been commenced with the Directorate of Criminal Investigations having crucial leads which they believe will assist in the arrest of the suspects behind the attack. We have launched investigations and I'm assuring you we are going to bring these perpetrators to book. Interior and National Administration Cabinet Secretary Professor Kithure Kindiki has been leading efforts to stave off insecurity in the region and has been visiting areas in northern Kenya, meeting security heads and local leaders in efforts meant to secure the northern counties that share a border with Somalia. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV.